Hello and you're once again welcome to MSA Constructions where we discuss all things engineering, architecture and 3D modeling. Today we will be learning on AutoCAD how to create an architectural plan and I'll be making use of this drawing as a guide to the scheme of work for this tutorial. As you can see, this is a simple drawing of two bedrooms bungalow and it has an anteroom, the dining, the kitchen, the store here. We have the master's bedroom right here and bedroom one, lobby and the living room. Then we have the balcony here. We will be replicating every element on this architectural plan in order to show you how it can be done in AutoCAD. But before further ado, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more content like this and also to turn on your notification bell to be first to see our latest video tutorials on AutoCAD and other content that pertain to construction. Now, for starters, it's going to be quite demanding to go in and out of AutoCAD in order to replicate this. So, what I want to do is I want to import the drawing like this PDF. I would like to import it into the AutoCAD interface as a block and by doing that, I will be able to have a direct access to it as a guide on our quest to replicate it. In order to bring the drawing into AutoCAD, we can go here and then select PDF import because it's a PDF file. So I can go on to locate the file and once I find it, I can select it but I'm going to be leaving everything here as default and as you can see, import this block option is available and it has been checked right here. Then I can go on to press OK and now I need to assign a location for the block by clicking my LMB on any spot on the interface and once I do that, it loads up and generates the drawing as a block. You can notice that the orientation is off and nothing like what we have in our PDF file. And in order to fix that, I need to go back to AutoCAD to rotate the block. To do that, you can simply use the command panel or use your RMB and select rotate as shown. The next thing to do is to pick a reference point. So I'm going to pick this point and I'm going to rotate the block 90 degrees. And now you can see that the orientation is exactly like what we have displayed in our Acrobat Reader. 